Hey everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, I figured it's about time for another boss battle fight, and why not do one down here in the depths? Last time we did one of these challenges, we happened to face all the Gleox in one life. Uh, no fairies, no nothing, just whatever gear I had on me. Well, we're gonna be doing a similar option down here in the depths with all of the bosses. I figured it was a good excuse to try and get the last of the light roots that I'm missing, so we'll just see how it goes. Now the rules are pretty simple. We're going to be facing all 12 of the bosses that are down here in the depths, as well as the three flux constructs, and trying to do that all in one life. So that means no healing, no fairies, no nothing. We're just going to do it with what we got on us. And one more rule is we are not allowed to use any of our allies for any of these fights. It should be pretty fun. So let's just see how it goes. Oh, look, it's Mukturok. Hey, I like this guy. He, 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 Nintendo just happened to steal my logo. But this one happens to be pretty difficult down here in the depths, honestly. Now, I don't think the first phase is going to be too difficult. What's going to be difficult is the second phase when there's all that muck around. Can we get him in the first phase? Come on. So close. Nah, so close. That's okay, we'll get him here. And one. Wow, that still didn't get him. All right, and two. Okay, on to the second phase. This is what makes the Mukturok fight so difficult. There we go, okay. Now, just go away, Mukturok. Yes, yes, okay. First boss done. And let's see what our reward is going to be here. Ah, yep. Crystallized charge. Ah, we should be able to finish our battery off pretty quick. Well, that's good. But, time for the next boss. Oh, look, it's Rock again. Hey, buddy. Um, let's get through the first phase a little quicker this time, shall we? Nice, okay. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, let's try some opals this time. I got plenty of these things. Just don't do damage to me. 12 seconds later. Oh, come on. Why? How did that hit me? All right, kids. Never play with opals. At least we can get rid of him here. Oh, okay. Two bosses down, and now we're down to our normal amount of hearts. Well, that should be fine. But we should probably ready ourselves with some rocket shields for the rest of these battles. Alright, who happens to be our next boss here? Marble Goma! Hey! Without Yonobo, we're gonna definitely have to be in the air for this fight. Let's see how much some Gibdo Bones do here. Whoa! Okay, with our Lionel Bow and the, the Gibdo Bones, <laughs> it's just a two-shot. Um, okay. Well, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. See you later, Marble Goma. Who needs Yonobo after all? <laughs> well, that's coming along nicely. Let's see who our next boss is. Oh, it's another Goma! Well, we're just getting two in a row of everything. At least Goma's pretty easy. Honestly, this boss fight is a joke. And that's boss number four. On to number five. All right. So, this one's going to be a little difficult without Riju's lightning, but I think with... Uh, I think since they're affected by any element, we should be okay here. I wonder if Key's eyeballs will do the trick. Then <laughs> I don't even need to aim. Oh, this is good. Hello. Goodbye. And on to phase two. Rather quickly. I'm surprised with how fast some of these boss fights are going. 
Now the key here is avoid all of these guys and still tag out the queen. Ooh, I'm lucky that that didn't hit me. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> now just run over. And... Easy peasy. Well, let's get ahead and head off to our next one. Now, this one, actually, I do know what this next boss fight is. It happens to be a construct on the other side of this little valley here. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Now, I'm curious here. What will a couple bomb arrows do to this guy? <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, wait. Is it a level one? Oh. Poor little guy. <laughs> um, sorry, Flux Construct. I, I thought you'd be a higher level than that. Oops. Well, that takes care of that, I guess. Uh, now let's go ahead and clean up some more light roots on our way to our next couple bosses. All right, so that makes five light roots now. And number six. Oh, look, it's another Flux Construct. I hope it's not another level one. If it is, though, this this is gonna be funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop in from above. Actually, I want to land on its head. Well, I'm glad my bike didn't disturb it. Hi. Oh, it is <laughs> three hits and it's gone. Poor guy. He didn't even know it hit him. Oh, I feel bad. I. <laughs> I wasn't trying to just pulverize him, but oh well. All right, time for another real boss battle, though. And who we got this time? Oh, it's Colgera. Hey. Oh, uh, this boss isn't too bad. All you gotta do is use your head. But I don't want to use my head. And there we are. Our first Colgera boss down. And they make six bosses. We're halfway done with the bosses. Oh, and I love the Colgara jaw. Now, it doesn't have a whole lot of attack power, but it just looks so intimidating. Ah, cool. All right. Let's head off to our last flux construct here. Oh, please don't tell me it's a level one, two. Poor little guy. I could have sworn I fought off higher level constructs down here in the depths before. Hi. Bye. <laughs> oh, so fun. Ooh, and we're up to 500 charges now. Sweet. Hey, and you're about halfway through the video, so if you're enjoying all these boss fights and all this depth exploring, feel free to leave a like, and if you have any speedrun challenge ideas that might be fun to try out here in this game, leave a comment down below. Anyway, back to the video. Now we'll just go ahead and steer our way over here. To our next boss fight. Ah, and it's our last Marble Gumma. You know, for how easy this one is, I think for the second phase of the fight, we'll actually make it a little more challenging on ourselves. Come on, get him before he flings us off. Nice. Nice! Okay, that's all three Marble Gummas done. And another 100 charges, thank you. All right, so I think this is the next deep spot here, so it should probably be a Colgara Fi... Nope. Queen Gibdo. Okay. Let's see how this one goes. Now, if I land up here, does she notice me? Oh, she does before I can even get up there. Awesome. Thankfully, we've still got key eyeballs. And spin to win. Round one done. Oh. Careful. That was close. Wait, where'd you come from? Ooh, that was that was really close. Ooh. That guy came out of nowhere. Almost got hit there. Okay, but that's another Queen Gibdo. Could have sworn this would have been another Colgara fight with how deep this one is. 
But that's okay. Queen Gibdo, say hello to the electric key eyeballs. No, you targeted the wrong thing. And we're out of key eyeballs. Uh, that's not good. Here. Ow. Just stay away. We'll use lemons then. They don't hone in, but they at least ah. Okay, this this fight just got a lot more difficult. No, come on. Just let me hit. No, stop it. Luckily, they only do gloom damage. Oh. Okay. Well, I ain't getting those three hearts back. At least we got another hundred charges. Oh, and look, it's Muck to Rock now. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Just gotta take care of you real quick. Now that I thought of rocket shields, this makes this a lot easier of a fight. i just gotta snag him real quick. Oh, uh, not the right timing. Oh, no, why did I fall to the floor like that? I should have pulled out my paraglider. Oh, those hearts are wasted too. Awesome. And goodbye, Muckdrock, for this challenge. That's all three of you. All right, well, that's most of our bosses. We only got a handful left. Ah, but we do have a couple light roots that we need to snag here. Like these ones up in the Heber region. I had no reason to honestly go over this way at all. And perfect landing. Nice. Oh, we're a little high. No, 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 no. The paraglider wouldn't come out. Oh, I pressed the... I pressed it to use the paraglider. Ah, <sighs> oh well. Just a few more light roots to go and another two hearts lost. I wonder what all these enemies are down here mining the Zonite for, honestly. Because we never see him use it, ever. Well, time for another Kolgara fight. Hi! Bye! Thanks for the 100 crystallized charges again. Appreciate it. You're doing great work out here. All right, just one more light route to go. Just right over here. Should be the last one. So we'll sneak on by him. Then we'll defeat the boss. Grab the last crystallized charge that we need. And that should be a thousand crystallized charges. I think that's all we need to get our battery all the way full. Finally. Man, we're just completing everything down here in the depths today. Nipposoyatua Shrine, whatever. And there we have it. Death's complete. Um, what was I? What was I supposed to get? Like a medal or something? Am I missing some? I'm missing two. There's. I didn't know. There's one down there and one up at the top. Oh, come on. Oh well. Okay. So what we'll do. We'll beat Kolgara, grab the last two light roots, and then we'll be fine. Ah, oh, I can't believe I missed him. I seriously thought I had them all. Well, might as well take out Kolgara in the most difficult way possible. We are only going to be diving down and using our heads the entire fight. But I don't want to use my head! No arrows for our final fight. It's going to make it a lot longer, and we'll probably end up losing a few hearts along the way, but that's okay. There's two. Ow, he actually hit me. Wait, stop. Well, let's just jump over here, and there we go. Okay. First round done. I can't believe he actually sniped me right out of the air. What, the tornado actually hit me? Whoa, that does a lot of damage. Forgot how much damage those tornadoes actually do. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Avoid those things, please. Thank you. Okay. One. Oh, wait. I, I thought you would do two sets of tornadoes. That's what you did last time. I don't have Tulin to push me over there. Can we make it in time? Ow, he hit me again. But we got him. Okay. You know what? I will say it. This fight is actually more challenging without your ally. Once again, Tulin is proving himself more valuable than all the other allies put together. 
Oh, but this music is so good in this fight. I love the Dragon Roost theme from Wind Waker. It's just perfect. Can I land on it? Actually, I'm curious. Oh, it just breaks it. I wanted to throw my sword at it. Can we? Can we throw our sword at it? Nope, it just blows away. Ah, that was dumb. Oh, and it goes through the portal. No, I could have actually <laughs> defeated it if I had head dived. Man, I thought throwing my sword at it could be a fun little thing to end the battle, but oh well. You know, from a physics standpoint, I don't know how he's making all of those tornadoes. But we got it. Okay. And there's the final boss. And we only lost, you know, more hearts than all the other bosses combined in this one fight. But that'll give us a thousand crystallized charges, and hopefully it's enough to upgrade our battery all the way. Never thought I'd see a thousand crystallized charges in one go. Let's grab those last two light roots, and go upgrade our battery. And that's our last two light roots. Light root dispelled darkness in the depths. You found every light root. You have dispelled the darkness. Ooh, the dispelling darkness metal. Very nice. Sweet. I, I'd call that a success. Now, let's go upgrade our battery. And just jump over here and... No, don't climb on the spike, really. Why? Why did you do that, Link? Ugh. So frustrating. All right, Stuart. Hi. Nice to see ya. Crystallized charges? Yeah, get producing. Wait, I'm... I'm one short? Really? I needed 60 more crystallized charges to make this work. Oh well. I'll get that on my own time. Well, that'll do it for this time. If you enjoyed, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more fun Tears of the Kingdom content. Until next time, though, I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you later. Ciao!